Hello everyone, this is Rajendra and uh, in this particular video we are going to discuss about Python features, right? So here you can see these are the few listed and uh, very popular features that we have in Python and that's why it is uh, Python is a very rich and uh, uh, rich and popular programming language, right? So let's let's start with uh, a first feature that is it's extremely easy to learn. Right. So now when we say extremely easy to learn, that means as a new developer, okay, as or as a new programmer, you can easily understand how the Python code is written. Why so? Because when we write a Python code, it looks like it's the same as a, a simple English statement. Right. So for example, uh, you, you want to check and uh, if a is greater than b or not, right? So let's say you have a is equal to 10, b is equal to 20, right? These are the two two variables we have. So if you want to check it, simply you just need to do if a greater than b, right? That is what you need to do it. You just don't need to use any brackets, right? So in, in other programming language, you must have observed that they are using like a function like bracket or curly bracket to specify the block, right? But in <coughs> Python, we, we don't have any such kind of a restriction. So simply you just need to write the statement and you are done with that uh, statement, right? So that's why we call it as it's extremely easy to learn. The another uh, reason we say it as extremely easy to learn because whatever task you want to do, okay, so there is something which already will be developed, okay? Some something we called as a Python packages or Python modules. So what Python packages and modules? We'll see that in a different uh, video. But uh, this is something you can say someone has already developed it, and we have to just use it, okay? Use that functions and we'll get the output whatever we want, right? And it has a very a rich library, okay? Python has a very rich library and that's the reason nowadays it's a very hugely uh, used in the market, right? Now, the next feature that we have is a, it's a portable and extensible. Now, what is this meant by portable and extensible? <laughs> in simple terms, portable means what? When you write your program on one machine, Okay, and if it is working as is without making any changes on other machine, okay, this is something we called as a portable, right? So now that machine ha might have a operating system difference, the architecture difference, okay? That is really doesn't matter in case of a Python. Simply you just need to write a code and that will work for all the system, right? This is something we called as a portable. Now let's talk about extensible. What does it mean by extensible? So when you write your program, okay, let's say there is a, some functionality, let's say a calculator project, there is already someone has already developed and they have developed initially four operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. These are the four operations someone has already, let's say written in a C language, right? But now, they also want to add some mode operation or some any other uh, arithmetic operation they want to use it, right? So now, but you don't want to continue with the C language now, right? You want to use Python. So what Python provides you is that whatever functionality you have already, let it be as is. I'll provide you the interface, okay, for the new implementation that can go ahead and start using your old functionality written in a C, right? So that means whatever existing functionality you have, that <coughs> existing functionality will be extended further, okay, with the help of Python. And that's the reason we call it as a, Python is a portable and extensible, right? Now, the third feature that we have is a, we call Python as a compiled as well interpreted language. What does that mean? Compiled language means what? It will take the whole program and it will compile at a time 
and it will make it uh, executable, right? So Python can do that. If we have a one complete .py file, it will compile it and it will be, uh, it will make your program uh, easy to understand to your system, right? And when we say interpreted means what? Even a single line of code will also be executed. Okay, line by line execution we call it as. So Python supports that as well, right? So that's the reason we call it as a Python is a compiled and interpreted language. Now the next and a very important feature of a Python is it's a dynamic. What does it mean by dynamic? <coughs> so it's a very simple. Dynamic means what? You must have heard in other programming languages that for every variable there is a one data type associated with. Of course, in a Python as well, we have a data types, okay? But uh, we don't need to specify those data type to your variable, right? So your Python will automatically understand depending on what data you are assigning to that variable, okay? So for example, if I assign a is equal to 10 and in Python, we have a function called type that will provide you the type of that variable. So I assigned a value of 10 to the variable a. That's why it is giving me the output as integer. Okay, so that means this type of the data assigned to variable a is of a integer. But now for that same variable, if I just assign some string, okay, and now if I just check the type of that variable a, you can see the type is str. That means string. So whatever type of data you assign to your variable, your variable will become of that particular type. Okay, variable will become of that particular type. Right, and that's the reason we call a Python as a dynamic language. There is one more reason in other programming language, every data type has some uh, range like uh, integer for int data type we can store the data between let's say 0 to 65,000 something right for long int will have some bigger range so if you try to assign a number which is out of range we get some undefined behavior okay but in case of a python we don't have any such limitation okay because in a Python, you can occupy any huge number, okay? Internally, Python will make sure that we'll have enough space in a memory to store that number, okay? But we have to make sure that on that system, we have enough available memory, right? If it is available, Python will make sure that it will make it available for your program, right? So these are the two main reason. Uh, that's why we call Python as a dynamic programming language, right? Now, a next uh, important reason uh, is, is, is I would talk first about uh, testing frameworks and AIML big data data science because nowadays everyone is looking into this advanced technologies like artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data, data science, right? So these are the few uh, very uh, well-known and very much used technologies or the terms you must have heard. And Python is something which is very popular for all these fields. Why? Because as discussed in Python, we have thousands of packages and modules someone has already developed, right? So now if you want to do something new, okay, it's, it's instead of reinventing the same wheel again, okay, if we have something already developed, let's better use it, okay? That will allow your development very fast, okay? And that is the reason Python is very popular in this uh, popular fields like AIML, big data and data science, right? And then next is about the testing frameworks, okay? The Python provides some testing frameworks, uh, frameworks like uh, Django or for some web development framework like Flask. Uh, sorry, testing framework is a robot and uh, uh, your uh, Web development frameworks like Django, Flask, Pyramid, these are some web frameworks which are already developed in Python. So we have to just fit our website in that template. 
okay that will make our overall development very fast okay this is again another reason python is very popular nowadays and then again the obvious reason is it's very popular and we get to very high salary because almost everywhere python is required okay whether you are in a development testing operations devops any field you talk about and python is kind of a default skill required everywhere okay so there is a very high demand in the market and obviously we know that if there is a very high demand okay obviously that uh, salary that is uh, going to pay for the uh, python developer will be going to be increased okay and in fact that is the case right now okay so just try to understand python basics very clear and that will really help your life make it easy for your future okay so that's it for you uh, all the features that we have discussed i hope everyone understood i'll, I'll come up with a few more videos related to python so thanks everyone and don't forget to like and subscribe the video